and the stunning landscapes of northern Norway are also some of the most brutal, unforgiving places a military force can operate. It is here that Royal Marines commandos have been training alongside Norwegian armed forces to keep the Corps at the forefront of operations in one of the world's harshest environments. The Norwegian-led exercise Cold Response sees the largest UK deployment of Royal Navy ships, helicopters and commandos for nearly a decade, underlining our commitment to security in the region. A commitment that can be traced back to World War II, when daring raids took place in Nazi-occupied Norway. The lessons learned here are now firmly embedded into commando tradition. Now, Arctic operating still remains absolutely key, as the Royal Marines undergo modernisation and restructuring as part of future commando force development. 4-5 Commando, the Royal Marines experts in extreme cold weather warfare, have been testing themselves along the jagged and wild coastline of northern Norway and putting into practice future Commando Force small team tactics to strike at the heart of the enemy. Throughout this year's winter tests, fighting companies combined with the wide range of specialists that make up 3 Commando Brigade. These skilled commandos trained to operate vehicles, technology and weapon systems that make up the backbone of modern warfare are key to gaining the upper hand in the Arctic against modern adversaries. 4-7 Commando Raiding Group utilise small, fast raiding boats that bring fire and fury of the Green Berets to the shore from the sea. 2-9 Commando Royal Artillery JTACs control jets and Apache attack helicopters from covert observation posts and use artillery to provide fire support as Commando forces forge forward into contested territory. 30 Commando Information Exploitation Group's Surveillance and Reconnaissance Squadron take on their own special missions. This time from the sky, SRS undertook a 150 km mission across the Arctic wilds. Armoured Support Group bring the Viking armoured vehicles, providing firepower and protection, while Commando Logistics Regiment keeps commandos moving through the snow and Commando Helicopter Force provide air support. But despite modern technology and the physical robustness of the Royal Marines, you cannot underestimate the power of the environment. Below freezing temperatures, lack of daylight and difficult terrain are only a few of the challenges to be faced. Learning to survive in Arctic conditions is key. The survival phase of training includes learning how to construct snow shelters, navigating by the stars and how to trap animals in a survival situation. It concludes with the infamous ice breaking drills. Commandos have to plunge into a hole in the ice and climb out the water unassisted, testing their ability to recognise cold shock, correctly administer themselves and then continue the fight. Commandos are then trained how to navigate their way through difficult terrain, allowing them to reach far into enemy territory across deep snow or frozen lakes and rivers. The restricted terrain and challenging weather of northern Norway makes the ability to manoeuvre faster, further and through areas potential adversaries cannot of vital importance to commando forces. All these skills remain vital as Royal Marines forge a path towards the future commando force. <laughs>